guys. It's Brent Markham from Serviceside. Um, going to go over a couple things that you might need for uh, a dove hunt. Tomorrow we have a dove hunt planned. Um, we've got a private landowner that's letting us hunt his cornfields. He's got several acres of cornfield. It's got a power line running right through it. So it's uh, it's pretty pretty good spot for some dove. We went scouting it a while ago and doves were flying all over the place. So uh, stay tuned for that at the end of the video. Uh, we've tried to get some action shots in there of us shooting some doves, maybe retrieving some doves as well and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that for the end of the video. But this video, this part of the video is kind of for some people that may be new to dove hunting. They may be never been before. kind of want to know what you might need, the kind of setup. And I'm going to go over my setup and hopefully that helps whoever's out there out a little bit to, um, to get into the sport. Because dove hunting is a lot of fun. I love it. Uh, the, the, the meat tastes amazing. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So starting out, you're obviously going to need your hunting license, right? So your dove, your migratory bird license here in Kentucky, as well as your hunting license. Um, I mean, your hip survey. With that, it's just a survey that you take online through the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife here. Um, and I know some other states have the same thing, kind of. So if you are in a different state and you want to get into dove hunting, make sure you check that out as well. So you can uh, be legal to hunt. Uh, moving on, you... Probably your most important thing is shotgun, shotgun shells, right? So the, the shotgun that I use is a 12 gauge New England firearms. Um, it's a really nice gun. I've used it for about three or four years now. I've had no problems with it. Um, it's pretty much my field gun, so I don't care to get it a little dirty or bang it up a little bit. Um, it's what I use every time I go dove hunting, so, and it hasn't failed me yet, so. Uh, People use 20 gauge, people use a 410, people, you know, obviously your smaller, your smaller, smaller, your smaller uh, caliber gun will limit your range a little bit with each one. So like a 20 gauge, for example, 20 gauge ain't going to limit you that much, but it does, with a 12 gauge, you do still have a little bit more of a reach of a shot that you can take with, with that 12 gauge, especially where I'm hunting, the power lines are super high, so the doves are super far away. They may not be like out in front of me far away, but straight up they're far away. So more powerful of a weapon to uh, to get out to that range. Uh, moving on, we're gonna be moving on to the shells. So the shells, obviously you're gonna use, if you're shooting a 12 gauge, you're gonna want 12 gauge shells. So what I shoot is a seven and a half shot, uh, two and three quarter inch shell. Um, it's a Winchester um, shell. It's a really good shell. I mean, I've used this thing. I've used these for as long as I can remember, honestly, and because they're affordable and they are um, just a good all-around dove shot. So this, sh obviously, with wider shot, it's going to make it a lot easier. You're going to have a lot more birds on the ground with a wider shot. Um, and seven and a half, it still gives me plenty of reach as well as a big enough pattern to to take care of about any dove shot I need to take. So, all right. Moving on, set this over here. <clears throat> the next thing you're going to want is, well, let me back up. So there's pretty much two, two ways of really hunting, in my opinion, and that's either one, walk around the field, get them to fly in front of you, or you can set like I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning with, uh, and just setting underneath the power line cut. And that's kind of what that's what I've always done because for one I'm lazy and I don't want to walk around a lot but um, if you're gonna be doing what I'm doing right you're gonna be sitting underneath the power line waiting for those doves to fly up you're gonna want something to set on for one and you're gonna want something to put your shells and doves in now the all-around old-fashioned way of people doing it is they get a five gallon bucket and they'll put their dump their shells in the, and whatever doves they shoot and they'll just take this out there set on it grab the shells out when they need it. It works perfectly fine, it's very inexpensive. Um, and they even make seats that swivel, so you can slap a seat on here and then swivel around looking at these doves or whatever you need to shoot at. And just pop it off, throw a dove in there, grab some shells, whatever you need to do. So that's one way of doing it. It's very cheap, very inexpensive. Um, what I do, and I use my field chair. So anybody in the army, knows what a field chair is and a field chair um, pretty much this one has got a strap on it 
So right here, I can carry it, I throw it over my shoulder, carry it into the field, whatever I need to do. And it's got this lovely little pouch down here that I keep all my shotgun shells in. So right here. Now I do not keep my doves in here. I'll, I'll show you here in a second when I keep my doves in. But I'll dump all my shotgun shells in here before I head out to the field. And then I'll just prop this baby out, set on it, wait for the doves to come in. It works really well for what I need it for. <clears throat> now, what I keep my doves in. I keep my doves in this right here. This is a, it is a dry mate shotgun shell pouch pretty much. In here, if I am moving and I am walking around in the field, I can keep, it's got a divider in the middle here. So you can keep your shotgun shells on one side, the doves on another. And it keeps you from having your feathers mixing in with your shotgun shell and then shoving feathers up in your gun whenever you're shooting. So that's really handy. Uh, but most of the time I still keep it on my hip even if I'm sitting underneath the power line or if I am sitting on my field chair which got my shells inside of it because I still use it to put my doves inside of because I don't, I really don't like mixing my doves and my shells together because it gets feathers all in there and blood and stuff. Some people don't mind it. I, I personally, I guess I'm just OCD freak and don't like it, but that's what I do. And another big reason that I use this is because it is so easy to clean the blood out of this instead of this, right? So once you throw your doves in here, you're gonna have blood, all of it, obviously, and feathers inside of this pouch. So you can either A, use a water hose, or B, like do like I do, and just toss this thing in the washer for a little bit, and um, then you air dry it. That, that does a really good job of cleaning it. Uh, that pretty much goes over my setup. Uh, I just want to throw in here, uh, obviously if you're going to do a lot of walking around, here in Sep it's September in Kentucky right now, and it is like 80 degrees outside. So whenever we're walking around these fields, make sure you're drinking water, right? Because the last thing you want to do is overheat um, and be dehydrated and pass out or, or have heat exhaustion or something like that. So make sure you just drink some water. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my dove setup. So honestly, as long as you've got a decent spot where doves fly over pretty frequently, I promise you, you will have doves on the ground. It's not a hard sport to get into. Probably the hardest thing I can tell you that will be the biggest challenge is shooting the, the dove, the actual shooting part of the dove. Because I don't know if any, I mean, if you have never shot, um, shot at anything moving in the air with a shotgun, it can be pretty tricky to some people and it takes a little bit of, of getting used to and takes some practice as well. Um, yeah, so that pretty much wraps up this portion of the video. Um, stay tuned for the next part where we will be getting some doves on the ground, hopefully out in the middle of that field. Uh, it's going to be three of us hunting out there. We should have plenty of doves flying all day. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Pretty excited about it.